Good morning, good morning. How are you doing today? Coming live from Mallory's Place. Um, we're going to talk about how to um, increase your motivation and how to motivate yourself when you are depressed. You need to set some goals, um, like I'm going to set an alarm so I can get up. I'm going to read a book. I'm going to put some music on. I'm going to get out of bed. I'm going to get a shower. I'm going to get dressed. I'm going to put on makeup. I'm going to get ready for the day, even if you are not going out that door. Good morning. Good morning. So self-motivation is being driven by a personal desire to set valued goals, focused and committed to move towards your goals despite the objects. It can be, um, objects could be anything, grandkids, your own mind. That's where my, a lot of my objects are in. And I'm learning to speak to them and tell them, you're wrong. Nope, not going to do this today, Satan. And then just go and um, not pay attention to what my mind wants to tell me. So, depression is a trap, a hole um, that you get sucked into. It just sucks you in and going into this vacuum to down to nothingness unless you stop it. Um, you can become depressed by current circumstances, um, relationships, jobs, childhood trauma, grief, um, stub your toe. Any little thing can cause you to become depressed if you allow it to and to keep going down that hole. Um, depression can cause you to shut people out, curl up in a ball for days in your bed. Um, been done that now for days, but at least a day. Um, it can cause you to put black curtains, blackout curtains throughout your whole house. Um, my sister-in-law was um, really depressed and that there was never any light in her house. Um, it can cause you to um, lock yourself in your house. It can cause you um, to only go out at night. Um, it can cause you to where you don't want to talk to anybody. Um, it can do a lot of crazy things as long as you allow it. Um, I know this feeling of hopelessness and a dark space. Um, I know it oh so well. As a child, I had um, trauma. Um, I was molested and I felt abandoned by my mother. Um, my mother, um, at the age of 40, um, had her first major heart attack and she was there, but she wasn't there in the life. She wasn't taking care of us, um, because she couldn't. And so for 30 years, she was sick, um, and disabled. And, um, I felt abandoned because... I was only nine years old, and it was like I would be walking home from school and wondering, okay, I'd be looking for my brother James um, because um, if mom wasn't feeling good and um, the doctor um, back then in the 70s, um, James would come home and take um, her pulse and her blood pressure and that at the age of eight. And um, if I didn't see James walking home, then I knew something had happened at home. Either he was home with mom or um, mom was at the hospital. Never knew walking home if my mom was going to be there or if she was even going to be alive. So that brought on a lot of um, insecurities, a lot of depression um, in my life. But after years of um, letting this rule my life, I decided enough I didn't like feeling like this anymore. Uh, I didn't like living like this anymore. I didn't want my children to see me um, living like this. Um, so I decided I needed to change. I didn't want this depressed life at all anymore. So I decided to change and it did not happen overnight. There were times of crying and praying and begging God, oh help me. And it seemed like I was hanging on the legs of the table while I was laying on the floor crying, this hurts, this hurts, this hurts, because 
I was allowing God to change me. And um, it, like I said, didn't happen overnight. It, it was a big mind change. Everything for changing in your life, it always occurs in your mind. But I knew it was for my good, and I knew I wanted to change, and I didn't want to live like that anymore. My steps of changing my mind was I believed God and that he loved me and was holding my hand. Um, I would read the Bible, I would study it, I would pray, I would worship um, throughout the day. I'd have worship music going, and I would just give it to God. And it seemed like years and years of just doing this every day. And it got to the point um, up until about maybe, oh, let's see. Eight, so about four years ago, four or five years ago, um, I had a real good friend. Her name was Tyra, and um, she was also my business coach um, with the company I'm with. And I would tell her, "I know I need to get out that door. I know I need to get out that door. That's the only way I'm going to find customers. That's the only way I'm going to um, be able to sell my products." But, Donna, I'm on the live, um, but um, it uh, was hard to get out that door. Every day, I would tell her I'm going out that door. She'd call me or she'd text me, did you get out that door? And I'm like, no, Tyra, Tyra, I couldn't get out that door. I could not step out that door. And so for months, it went on, did you go out the door, Leslie? Nope, nope, Tyra, I got ready, but I couldn't get out that door. Finally, one day I stepped out that door. I went, I set up at a, a restaurant called Four Peas in the Pod, and I started talking to people, handed out um, my books, sold some product that I have, gained some new customers. She called me that day and she said, did you go out the door? I said, yes, I went out that door and this is what happened. Great, good. I knew you could do it. And I said, yeah, I knew I could do it too. But it was hard to get to that point. And was there still times? In they keep calling. Still times and days that I had a hard time getting out that door. Yes. But I know I need to get out that door. If it wasn't now in my life, if I didn't have an office that I need to get up and get ready to and go to, even though I'm at home today, um, the kids don't have school, and so it's easier to do what I'm doing at home um, today. So, but if I didn't have my office to get out and get going, would I be where I'm at today? Probably not. I'd probably be in that bedroom. But... Getting out that door, I had to face, force myself to go and do the thing. Um, some of the other things I do to get myself out of depression is I clean. Um, some, if you walk in my house now, is it clean the way Leslie usually cleans it? No, but it's clean. Um, I really need to get that energy back to really have it spotless. But I love to clean. I love to bake. I, If I'm really down and out, um, I blare my worship music so loud um, and just get myself out of that funk. Um, that helps me get out. Um, it helps me to calm down. And also, I also um, diffuse some oils right now. Um, today I've been doing dragon fire and the boys have not been screaming in at each other's throats today because I've been burnt um, diffusing that. Um, also, what I've done recently, um, like when I'm at the office, I know my nose is itching, I'm sorry, um, is I will put on some relaxing music like nature sounds, water. Water is my to-go-to. Water just is so soothing, the waves, any type of water sound is my to go to. Um, this is how I have 
changed how um, I motivated myself to get out of my depression. Um, yes, I still get depressed every once in a while, um, but it doesn't last for days or weeks or months. Um, it only will last for a couple of hours a day. Um, does it come every day? No, not like it used to. Um, I can go weeks and then all of a sudden some little thing will just tick me off and then and there I go. Um, but I don't allow myself to stay there. Some may find exercise, um, going for a walk, um, sitting out in the sun, sitting out in the rain, it as ways to diffuse the dis, um, depression that you have as a result of what is going on. Um, I'm also learning that I can change the way I think about depression, like rename it, reframe it. Um, instead of depression, it's my stepping stone to get to step up. And so I'm learning how to reframe my thoughts and my thinking. Um, also, journaling is a, writing down in a journal. I have a journal here. Do I do it every night? No, I forget. And it's even in front of my face every night. But journaling, I was told that not typing it into an app um, is the best thing to do with journaling. You need to write it physically with your hand and a blue pen. And journaling will help you with your depression. So, um, it, it's just the ways I get out of um, being in a funk, in a depression. If you have any um, ways that help you to get out of your funk, out of your depression, um, once this video is done, please put it in the comment section. Because everything I do isn't what everybody else can do. Um, not everybody has the same temperament or personality as I do. Um, so some things won't work for you. So if you would put in the comment section once the video posts um, and let us know um, what helps you with depression. Hi Donna. Hi Kimberly. Hi Lee. Hi Patricia. And hi Jody. I hope you all are having a great day. Um, and also, I would love for you to join. This is the Mallory's Place. Um, we also have a private Mallory's Place support group. Men and women can be in that. Um, and we're there. It's peer support to help each other. Like if someone's having a hard time to um, with things like grief, depression, anxiety, um, divorce, um, abuse, uh, anything. Hi, Amy. Um, please join that group. But um, that's just my tips for today on how I get out of depression. Um, hi, Sage. Hi, Amy. Um, yes, I do cry. Um, I know some people say, "Oh, you're so strong." If you ask my family, yeah, you can. I am. I am strong, I do agree with you, but my family sees more of my crying. They see more of the Leslie that's suffering than what the wall I have up for everybody else. Um, but I'm normal, I'm human. Um, so, this is our talk on depression today. So on a happy note, whoops, there goes my phone. I love you all. Um, I'm going to post this um video um it'll be here um if you want to share it you can and in the comment section like i said please put your tips on how you get yourself out of a depression and tomorrow we are going to talk about grief and how it can be debilitating and how you can help yourself in the grief process so every day like monday through friday i'm going to have a different subject um, then I'm going to try to go live on this page, on this group, to um, give some tips and tricks. And everything won't be what everything, um, everything that Leslie has learned. Some things I've been reading, some things I um, have heard about that other people have helped them. So it will be a little bit of everything. Um, 
I haven't arrived. Um, but I am learning and I am growing. And I hope you all have a great day. And I love you all. And just put a smile on your face. Go out and smile at someone. You may be the only smile that they receive today. And like Mallory said, we um, can't do this alone. We There's no way that we can do this alone. So go out, give someone a smile, and have a great day. I love you all. Bye.